Well, Green Spring, we have made it. Can you believe <laughs> we've, we've made it not only through 2019, we made it through the last decade. And I think that the fact that we survived that decade is probably an accomplishment in itself. Once again, I am just thrilled to be with you on the first day of a new decade, a new year, Wednesday, January 1st, 2020. Who would have thought it? And I, you know, what better way to start the year than to be together? I'm your host, Diane Gatz is having a, and as it usually is with tradition, you know, we like tradition here in, at Village in Motion. What we are doing today is taking the show that we produced last Christmas in 2018, and we're replaying it as an encore for you today. So as always, just sit back, relax, enjoy our holiday music gift 2018. Tiptoed in and I turned on the light But to my surprise there was no one in sight Cause my Uncle Walter goes dancing at night He goes wah, 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 wah waltzing with bears Raggy bear, shaggy bears, baggy bears too There's nothing on earth Uncle Walter won't do So he can go waltzing Wah, 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 waltzing So he can go waltzing Waltzing with bears We bought Uncle Walter A new coat to wear When he came home It was covered with hair Lately I've noticed Several new tears I'm sure Uncle Walter's Been waltzing with bears He goes wah, 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 wah Wah, wah, waltzing with bears Raggy bears, shaggy bears Baggy bears too there's nothing on earth Uncle Walter won't do So he can go waltzing Wah, 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 waltzing So he can go waltzing Waltzing with bears We told Uncle Walter That he should be good And do all the things That we said he should But I know that he'd rather Be out in the woods I'm afraid we might lose Uncle Walter for good he goes wah, 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 waltzing with bears. Raggy bears, shaggy bears, baggy bears too. There's nothing on earth Uncle Walter won't do. So he can go waltzing, wah, 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 waltzing. So he can go waltzing, waltzing with bears. We begged and we pleaded, oh, please, won't you stay? We managed to keep him at home for a day But the bears all barged in and they took him away Now he's dancing with pandas and they don't understand us And the bears all demand at least one dance a day He goes wah, 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 waltzing with bears Raggy bears, shaggy bears, baggy bears too There's nothing on earth Uncle Walter won't do so he can go waltzing, wah, 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 waltzing. So he can go waltzing, waltzing with bears.
This was from the editorial page in the New York Sun, written by Francis P. Church on September 21st, 1897. Dear Editor, I am eight years old. Some of my little friends say there is no Santa Claus. Papa says if you see it in the sun, it's so. Please tell me the truth. Is there a Santa Claus? And signed, Virginia O'Hanlon, who lived at 115 West 95th Street. And the answer is as follows. Virginia, your little friends are wrong. They have been affected by a skepticism of a skeptical age. They do not believe except they see. They think that nothing can be which is not comprehensible in their little minds. All minds, Virginia, whether they be men's or children's, are little. In this great existence of ours, man is a mere insect, an ant in his intellect, as compared with the boundless world about him, as measured by the intelligence capable of grasping the whole of truth and knowledge. Yes, Virginia, there is a Santa Claus. He exists as certainly as love and generosity and devotion exist. You know how they abound. And give to your life its highest beauty and joy. Alas, how dreary would the world be if there were no Santa Claus. It would be as dreary as if there were no Virginias. There would be no childlike faith then, no poetry, no romance to make tolerable this existence. We should have no enjoyment except in sight and sense. The eternal light with which childhood fills the world would be extinguished. Not believe in Santa Claus? You might as well not believe in fairies. You might get your papa to hire men to watch in all the chimneys on Christmas Eve to catch Santa Claus. But even if you did not see Santa Claus coming down, what would that prove? Nobody sees Santa Claus, but that is no sign that there is no Santa Claus. The most real things in the world are those that neither children nor men can see. Did you ever see fairies dancing on the lawn? Of course not, but that's no proof that they are not there. Nobody can conceive or imagine all the wonders there are unseen and unseeable in the world. You tear apart a baby's rattle and see what makes the noise inside, but there is a veil covering the unseen world which not the strongest man nor even the united strength of all the strongest men that ever lived could tear apart. Only faith, fancy, poetry, love, romance can push aside that curtain and view and picture the supernatural beauty and glory beyond. Is it all real? Ha <laughs> ha Virginia, in all the world there is nothing else real and abiding. No Santa Claus? Thank God he lives, and he lives forever. A thousand years from now, Virginia, nay, ten times ten thousand years from now, he will continue to make glad the heart of childhood.
Hi, my name is Stephen Esgoda, and this is a Christmas poem by Clement Clark Moore, The Night Before Christmas. Twas the night before Christmas, and all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled, all snug in their beds, with visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama, in her kerchief, and I in my cap, had just settled down for a long winter's nap, when out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters, threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave a luster of midday to objects below when what to my wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver so lovely and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles his coursers they came, and he whistled, and he shouted, and he called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen, to the top of the porch, to the top of the wall now. Dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves that before a wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the housetop, the coursers they flew with a sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling, I heard on the roof the prancing and the pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled. His dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses. His nose, like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke, it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word. He went straight to his work and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk and laying his finger aside of his nose and giving a nod, up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim as he drove out of sight, Happy Christmas to all, and to all a good night.